the theme has been making transitions uh, with your leg turns and your leg tilts. So um, another thing is going right into, uh, um, with that crossbody ride and when you're running that ball and chain, um, something that you can do is uh, go right into uh, a couple bars. And I'll show you how to do that right now. So I have my legs in. Okay, however I want to do it, whether I want to do shallow, I want to do cross body. I think I'm going to show cross body because what I think works, works best for the, uh, the transitions is uh, off of hooking this elbow. So when I hook this elbow, I always want to be cross body where this, this leg that I have in wraps around my partner's ankle. So this leg is my, my support. I stay perpendicular. That's what this back leg does. I keep it extended. It helps keep my hips and chest up and I'm able to stay perpendicular. So again, I'm going for this ball and chain. I can either bait him by bringing his shoulder down a little bit to attack, or I can pull it really hard so he buries his shoulder and I hit my shoulder roll. All right, so I'll do that one right now. I look towards his ankle. Again, I create momentum by kicking this leg off the mat. And as he goes through, I catch the wrist in the crotch. So I get my tilt, figure four, he goes to his base. Okay, so I'm, not, I'm gonna let go of this wrist. Okay, so I just have this elbow here. So he, he can try and get out of my hips, just flatten out. Okay, so all I'm gonna do now is just make, a, I'm gonna thread the same arm with my free arm. So I thread this arm. Okay, I'm actually gonna step this foot up on this side of his body. Okay, so this keeps his shoulder up so I don't lose this. And I just thread this arm through. Now he can do what he wants. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tack this same wrist. I'm sure a lot of people have seen this, just a nice bar tilt where this hand is gonna go underneath his belly and attack, attack this wrist. Okay. He's, his instant reaction is to be to get his right shoulder down, okay? And so this, just like all the tilts, I'm creating a lot of pressure. I gotta get my knee under this hip, and I'm just gonna run. I'm gonna circle out, I'm gonna, I'm gonna drive him forward and make this guy want to turn. Once I feel that breaking point where he's resisting, he's resisting, and then he feels too much pressure, that's when I'm gonna pull this guy into uh, exposing his back. So I got this bar. Um, one thing, uh, so I, I got this, he's, he's bearing his shoulder, and now I'm just gonna run. I got my left knee, in under, I'm sorry, my left knee under his left hip, and again, I'm just gonna drive him forward. This leg needs to come out to the side, and I, I'm elevating, I'm getting this, my knee off the mat, so he's carrying all my weight, and that's gonna create a lot of pressure. So my left hip elevates, I run, just like a gut wrench. And now once I expose his back, um, I'm gonna have to try and get perpendicular. Right here I'm still pretty parallel with him and I can probably still turn this guy, but it's gonna be a lot easier and I'm gonna hold him on his back longer if I can get perpendicular. I might even be able to pin him. Um, all my tilts, this bottom leg is up. It's not down on the mat. I'm bending my knee and trying to get my heel on the mat. And I'm also elevating his, his knee with my ankle. Right here. I get my back points. He goes to his base. And again, just like I showed previously with the tilt, I can throw the leg in from here. Right back to the leg. He hips down. And now I got my figure four in. Um, one thing I like to do, which helps me with uh, turning this guy with a cross face, is trying to get this hand by his side. If I can get, because usually what happens is that you're trying to cross face a guy, he's using this hand to block. Okay? So what I, what I can do is from that, that bar that I had, he goes to his base. I can just kind of scoop his forearm up with my elbow 
And now that wrist is by its side. And now I can go right back to that cross face. Now he's got nothing to prevent him from going over. Again, elbow on this side of his face. And I attack this elbow here. I can even try and scoop here. If he turns into me, legs over, I get my double legs. Um, so that's one, uh, that's one turn. 